So Guru that is talking about renunciation. Why renunciation and what is renunciation? Gurudev said, not that I will create another empire here also. Devotion, tender devotion. Not for name, not for fame. These will never give you grow give you to grow loud please hmm. loving devotion this is the goal oh, andagaji yes so this Guru Dev is saying, mm. uh, first this devotion and tender devotion. Guru Dev is using tender devotion. This is quite interesting. Why you? Why Guru Dev is saying tender devotion? This tender devotion, we may imagine how manjari is like a, a bud, like a very soft, very kind, very humble. And uh, this devotion is Gurudev say not name and fame. Selfless devotion. So this Gurudev just saying tender devotion. This is uh, it. He may uh, imply like manjari softness and kindness and tenderness and humbleness and selfishness so this is, i just <laughs> i can uh, meditate this tender devotion especially manjari is a devotion is kind of calamity uh, is a calamity of devotion because no culmination, maybe culmination. Culmination. Hmm. Like culmination. Topmost. 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 Ah, yeah. Because no selfish intention. Manjari is only concentrate Radha's pleasure. Even Krishna came. Many devotees know. So Krishna and Radhika please manjari is a selfish devotion. And then Radhika said to Krishna, Hey Mohan, why don't you give some special kind of, what I say, kind of rewards? And then and then Krishna tried to uh, kiss and embrace, but Manjari was say no, and uh, escape, hide, and uh, resist Mohan's approach. And then uh, Mohan and Radhika was so pleased, and Manjari's uh, one-pointed devotion. They are very tender, very soft, but also same time very fixed, 
very determined, very selfish. Maybe I may, <laughs> I may too much thinking, but this is tender is very, I feel this word is good was using very, uh, what is it say? Deep meaning, mm. imply deep. That's what I'm feeling. Mm. Okay, like always, if anyone feels he or she would like to share, we welcome all the sharings. Yes, please help, help please, us. <laughs> please help <laughs> us. <laughs> so, Bararamji, welcome, Gora Chandra, and uh, our Radha Charanji, or anybody. Anybody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, welcome. Mm. <clears throat> Just a moment. So we Excuse me to op open for me for translating in Spanish, please. Okay. Okay, we are continuing. Loving devotion, this is the goal. In this way, Raghunath Das Goswami showed the pure way. Sorry, Bhagavatamrita, please, Mike. Mm -hmm. Renunciation is not for my respect and my ego. Renunciation for loving devotion. Renunciation to become humble and more respectful to the Vaishnavas. Raghunath Das Goswami took the shelter of Radhika in Chaitanya. Radhika is love. When love comes in your heart, you want to leave other things for that love. Like a girl, Let's see, let's say she has many aspiring boyfriends. When she has chosen one boyfriend, she renounces the other friends because she has no time for anyone but her beloved. Why? Because she is in love.
Here I become more poor and a beggar because I have only one goal to serve you. So, <clears throat> this Guru Dev is mentioned very interesting way. Because Ragnata Das Goswami took the shelter of Radhika in Chaitanya. That means there is two way to take shelter, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, maybe. Some who, some took shelter of Krishna in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Gurudev was saying, Ragnata Das Goswami took shelter of Radhika in Chaitanya. So this describes Ragnata Das Ishta Devi is in Radhika. And this is difference of say uh, Laganuga Bajan or maybe Laganuga Bajan or highest Bajan. This is uh, highest Bajan is taking shelter of Radhika. This is uh, this is Guru Dev's special specific uh, ability or a specific fixing Radhika. Laguna Das Goswami took shelter of Radhika in Chaitanya. Usually, uh, nobody can say like this. This is uh, Guru Dev's very specific uh, one pointness. And also this describe Laguna Das Goswami in Swarupa Besh. He is Torashi Manjari. And uh, Manjari took shelter of Radhika. And uh, Radhika is love. Therefore, Ragnar Das Goswami also has full of love, full of prema. And uh, Therefore, he say, Prema Prayojana Acharya. And then Guru Dev is saying, when love curve comes in your heart, he wants to leave other things for that love. <clears throat> like Raghunath Das Goswami, he has the richest person's son, but he want to decide. He want to take shelter, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, or he want to take shelter, Radhika, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he gave up everything. Even he gave up eating. And uh, dressing nicely also, he gave up, almost he gave up everything for that love. This Guru Dev's uh, uh, example also very clear. If we fix one Ishta, Ishta Deva, Ishta Devi, then we have no time for others. This is why, because she is in love. Here I become more poor and a beggar because I have only one goal to serve 
you to serve Radhika. This is very beautiful. That's mentioned Guru Dev saying, love is goal. <laughs> Prema prayojana. Love is goal means goal is Radhika. Goal is love means goal is Radhika. This is very, very, uh, important point Guru Dev uh, mentioned. So if someone could do some help us, welcome. Rade, Rade. Yeah. Rade, Jai. Yeah. So I, about this, that uh, he meditate uh, upon Radhika in Chaitanya. No? It's come to me um, that usually sometimes Gurudev said to us not to meditate on the breast of Radhika, like young Manjari who must to grow and finally be able to serve her. No? So uh, what I feel that there is no difference between this nutrition, what we can uh, take from, from the breast of Radhika and uh, the words of Goswamis, we, which we can drink through the air. And there is also no difference uh, from the tears of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which melt the stone under Garunda Stamba. So all this substance, when we, we are in contact with them by reading, by emerge us, can, man, can melt our heart and we can grow. And uh, also another uh, things what come to me uh, is last time Gurudev said that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is one body but two souls. We can say two prana, one body and two prana. But it come to me that uh, there is also a third prana in the Goranga Mahaprabhu, one, one body but three prana, uh, Radhika, Krishna, and Manjari. So this this is something what come to me now during the this lecture. Radhe Radhe. Wow. Mm, beautiful. Mm -hmm. We are drinking, we are hearing the nectar of Radha Mohan's pastime. Uh, I think Bhagatam say, Pivata Rasa Marayam Mufuraho Bubi Babukaha. So we are drinking uh, nectar of Rasa from ear, uh, from the words of Rashka Vaishnava, like uh, Anandas Bhavaji Maharaj and our Guru Dev. So that's true. We are drinking a nectar. And uh, even though our heart, my heart, may be very, very hard, but slowly, slowly, like uh, melting, Hopefully, like a Garuda stamp, <laughs> they, I think they are made, made in by maybe stone. But even stone, even merit by the nectar of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet, or maybe tears. So amazing. And uh, last time Andaka, Andaka said, Kalidas was drinking, washing water of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu before going to temple, I think, uh, some place, washing place. Uh, I don't know exactly where, but uh, there's some, there's some place washing the feet by water. At that time, 
uh, Kalidas was just uh, uh, waiting Mahaprabhu's washing water. And then just hand is like this. And then he drink because he was so much face on Vaishnava's remnant of, uh, of Prasada means Maha, maybe Maha Maha Prasada. So, and then Mahaprabhu give Karidas, uh, because Mahaprabhu does not allow anyone to take his Charanamrita, but only Karidas could take that Charanamrita, because he had so much faith on Vaishnava's remnant of eating plus, uh, Maha Maha Prasada. So, so then it is, but the words, it's very, very nectarian. And also, then he said, Mahaprabhu is three personality maybe in it. Usually we say Radha and Krishna mixing together. But also, then he said, Manjari is also hiding. This I remember, like Gurudev was Explain, uh, explain the meaning of Maha Mantra. And Krishna embrace Radhika. And then Radhika also embrace Krishna. And then Radha Mohan called, hey Manjari. No, actually he did not, he may not say Manjari. So please come. But actually that person is Manjari. Please come. Come with us. Please help, help us. We need you. So, Gurudev is saying, Mahamantra is calling us. Means Mahaprabhu also calling us. Please come. Please take this, this Mahamantra. And please come. Please serve and Radha and Mohan in very intimate past time as maid servant of Radhika. So this is Dainidi's great realization. It's sharing. Thank you very much. Okay, we will continue reading. So Gurudev continues. The goal is love. When someone is about to drown, if you try pulling him, holding them close to you, then you will both drown. So, to save this person, you have to pull this person by the hair. If you have some mercy for me, if you have drop of mercy for me, please, Pull me out. It will be very painful when you pull out someone by the hair. Uh, 
I am ready to tolerate all pain, but please pull me out. Jai Ho, Jai Ho, Radhe. <laughs> So, Andakaji. Hmm. So, this is Guru Dev's interesting. If when somebody pull out us by the hair, it will be very painful. So, that means if we want to or somebody want us to pull, pull us out, pull me out. At that time, some pain we have to expect. Sometimes uh, <clears throat> bhakti is very, very pleasing and easy. That's also true. But also same time, if we practicing bhakti and try to throw away our ego, <laughs> anarta, at that time, some pain may come. So then Guru Dev said, I'm ready to tolerate all pain. Please put me out. Or even manjari. Sometimes radika is called manjari without any reason. Like Raghunath Das Goswami as Turashi manjari and looking for Radhika indicate Trashi Manjari. Please go and take my sash belt, which I left in a cave of Govarda. So Trashi Manjari was uh, just went and uh, he tried to bring without not, uh, without anyone noticing the such belt. But Larita Saki could understand Torashi's intention. And then Radhika also understand Larita Saki could understand I left my sash belt and Torashi, Torashi brought Radhika's sash belt. So Radhika became very angry to Torashi Manjari. So of course, this is, this is a completely different situation because Radhika is, no, this Ragna Das Goswami is Siddha Swarupa, but we are conditioned. But still, if we practicing devotional service, sometimes some, some painful situation may come. So this good day was <laughs> indirectly saying, it's natural that you are also here, maybe. So it will be very painful when you pull out someone by the hair. I'm ready to tolerate all the pain. <coughs> so this suggesting we also we have to tolerate all the pain. This is a very interesting point, I feel it.
Jayananda Prabhu. Yes. Just it's come to me also that uh, this pain about which Gurudev speak here, maybe this is the pain uh, of our conditional soul, pain that we are so uh, identified with false ego, and we we are now starting to focus in one new reality, new body, which is real body, but still. We are so attached. We are. We we feel that is more real. What is not real than what is real. So in the beginning, pain, pain in the beginning when you are starting to sincerely uh, longing for something, and this pain is different that pain of Raghunath Das Goswami, which he explained in Vilap Kusumanjali. This pain is diff- opposite because he is completely. He know he who he is. He is completely present there, and the moment when he come here, is uh, he cannot tolerate this. So I think this is two different pain. I, I think that you already speak here in this beginning pain. <laughs> yes, that you right. You are right. And uh, so when our ego is taking away at that time so much pain is coming but uh, we have to tolerate <laughs> and so we can tolerate uh, because uh, we are try to our aim is try to please, please Radhika. For, for Radhika, for Radhika's service, or for Guru Dev, Guru Manjari's service. So we, we can tolerate, or sometimes we have to tolerate. <laughs> and uh, if we see Pabupada, how Pavupada tolerate all these, what do you say, uh, you know, many things Pavupada has to tolerate. Tolerate for immaturity of disciple. Pavupada tol- tolerate many criticism from others or especially from beginning. He has to tolerate so many deficiency so this if if we see acharya even gurudev also he 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 much he had so much tolerate many things because uh, our actually i is so immature so gurudev has to tolerate our immaturity or our fault so this uh, is the quality, you know, maybe different to this, this context may be different, but uh, devotee, real devotee nature is tunada peace nichena, taro riba sahishununa, amani na manandena, kiru taniya sadahari. So this is, uh, the real devotee is so much tolerant. So, especially condition soul for us is we have to, we have, we are ready to tolerate. We have to tolerate many things. Then our humbleness, our what is say? Like to not be snitching as nature, slowly, slowly may come. Okay. 
Sri Radhe. Radhe. So we continue reading. If you want to live in Vraj by your own strength, it's impossible. If you want to live in Vraj through her mercy, you will see. So Gurudev mentioned, by your own strength, that's I feel, by our ego, false ego, if we want to live in Braja by our false ego, it does not work. Then Gurudev was saying, if we want to live through Radhika's mercy, then it is possible. We may be in flow of this rasa, braja rasa, or prema rasa. So this is a very important <laughs> point. You go to the Vrajavasi home begging. Radeshyam, Radheshyam, Bhajan Kripa, and begging Kripa. I only want to live through begging Vrajavasis are the richest. They have Krishna Prema. I am poor. I have money. But I have no love. So this is begging. Gurudev also used to do Madhukari. And Gurudev's grandfather used to do Madhukari. So one day Gurudev was suggesting us, you go to Madhukari. And <laughs> then we are, we start thinking, oh, oh, what to do? But not only, you know, myself, not two, three people, more than 10 people, you go mad. <laughs> I was wondering what to do. And then, anyway, Guru Dev's suggestion. So we did Gobardan Parikiram, and then uh, I was meditating how to do Madhukari in Govardhan Parikram. And some part is no house. Some place is a few house. So, but uh, Gurudev's instruction, we did. And the amazing things we experience. Because Madhukari means begging. Begging means we need humbleness. And then Brajabashi has real love, prema. And Brajabashi is very kind to give everything to us. Sometimes Brajabashi invite us. Sometimes Brajabashi asking us, how many chapati do you want? 
So one day we went, and then maybe we separate three, three, three people. And then we did Madukari. At first, I try to show them how to do this. And then other people see and they could see Brajabasi's kindness. Brajabasi's love. And some Brajabasi invite us to enter their home. Sometimes they give full prasada. And then after that, we collect prasada and we eating. At first begging and they give us some chapati or some sabji, something. Then we start crying. Then after correct, correcting some food, then we eating again crying because full of love, full of taste. And we feel, oh, Brajabasi, we could understand their love. In West or outside Braja, it is not so easy to do this experience. So this, this Guru Dev was uh, uh, this saying, this begging, because uh, to, to beg something, we have to be very humble. If we are so much ego, then difficult to beg. So, and Gurudev teaching us this begging is the way to feel Brajabasi's love. What is love in Braja? This Brajabashi show us. Well, Munger Raj Manding also we could feel this love, but especially begging food. We felt Brajabashi is very, very kind. And Radharani is very, very kind to us. So this good, this good name is say, they are richest, richest of love. West, we may rich, but uh, I may, I don't have love. We may not have love. So this is a good day of saying, I'm actually poor because we don't have prema. I think Chaitan Charitamita, who is the richest person? And then, Ramanandaya say, someone who is prema, that person is richest person. So Gurudev is mentioned. He, he also, he experienced he lives in Braja many years. So we, we just, we want, we could taste one drop this mercy in Braja by begging, by, by following Guru Dev. Just a uh, humble experience. <laughs> and just short things. Only because uh, when I listen to that, it reminds me from one, from one story of St. Francis. Uh, he usually make this sadhana, also like begging. And after uh, and one time, he was a um, guest in one very rich family, very rich. And they make a lot of things for him. But he just go outside to make his sadhana, like a begging. And after he wrote uh, this uh, hard bread to them, and everybody was eating his uh, madukari. <laughs> no, nobody was eating what he made, and everyone everyone was crying <laughs> in prema. 
everyone start to pray. This is the same story. <laughs> ready, ready. Mm. Even Ragnar Das was finally, you know, go to uh, some place where a uh, Mahaprasad, Rotun Mahaprasad, throw away that place. So Ragnar Das was collecting Rotun rice, etc., and he washed some Rotun part. And collect some, some, what's say, some rice, not a uh, lot. And then collecting, collecting, and then he was eating with salt, something. And then one day, Swarupa Damodara and Mahaprabhu came, Hey, Raghunata, what are you eating? You are, you are, you are not so merciful. Why don't you give me this special prasad? <laughs> and then Maha, Mahaprabhu took this Ragnata's prasada and he ate. Oh my God, Ragnata, what kind of prasada you are eating? This is just like nectar. What, what are you doing? Why don't you, why did you not give me? Give us this prasada. So this is, I remember that story. <laughs> so this is a very interesting. You are there. So Gurudev continues. My grandfather was the richest king, but when he came to Vrindavan, he took off his slippers to go and beg at the homes of the Vrajavasis. Why? To take out all ego. If little ego is there, nothing can be possible. Always be in the mood of service. So, so Gurudev, if you could explain your experience of Madhukari or about your grandfather, Madhukari, because we, we want to hear, Gurudev, your experience of realization. Listening to you, then it is, I'm ravishing. You share, I will listen and share. And it's very nice to feel the beauty of Madhukari begging and that becomes so tasteful. Mercy is a mercy receiving now. Mercy is Kripa. Kripa come by this Two things happening. One, humbleness is coming. And we receive from others is love is coming in our life. And that way, we want to serve this service mode. All come by begging.
This ain't start a beauty of the light. <laughs> That you realize by doing, then you will start feeling that. Others feeling are not realization, but when I feel, I do then feel it, that is realization. You like this? Uh, yeah, very nice. <laughs> and also, Prabhupada was so intelligent. He also uh, mm, um, sent the disciples to Madhukar <laughs> by his books. So the we was in this situation that we was making Madhukar, but in the same time we was giving Madhukar. So mm, I think that many realization also come in this moment. When you're giving, if, even if you we didn't know exactly what we are giving, but there was the feeling that we are giving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and that people accept that and it was some ecstasy. And now, now we can see which kind of ecstasy was that. But some drops came even in that moment. So just that, what I want to share. And how it, how intelligent was Prabhupada and how he bring the mood of Vrindavan in on the street of Western people. <laughs> Adi, Adi. True. That true. <laughs> we. <laughs> We blindly follow Prabhupada's instruction. When we join, other devotees say, if you want to please Prabhupada, then go going out and distribute the book and, and begging. At first, we have ego. We have afraid. And uh, we are not so comfortable. But uh, slowly, slowly, we realized someone who get book, Prabhupada book, and they are, they are become very happy and we feel very happy. We don't know why this kind of inside Happiness is coming. We don't know. But uh, finally we understand, oh, Mahaprabhu is pleasing. Prabhupada is pleasing. Therefore, we are distributing book. At that time, we are completely meditating Prabhupada and uh, completely meditating Mahaprabhu. Somehow or other. Unknowingly, knowingly. And then some or other, so much pleasure is coming. When I join people, many devotees coming from Sankirtan and book distribution, and they are so you know, brilliant, so much ecstasy. I could not understand why this person is so happy. And then they start talking, oh, today I met this person, or oh, today I got this nice person. They appreciate very much, you know, this kind of story they are talking about. I must start thinking, what they are talking about? What they are doing? And then I also start, I want to do like them. Maybe begging also. May begging, we feel so much happiness. We don't know why, but uh, we could understand Radharani 
is taking care anyone who in Buraja. Yes, please, Guru Dev, say. You see, Mahaprabhu is in begging, is throwing the prayers. He is throwing. I was surprised why he is throwing the prayers. Because many beggars were there. Many are asked, begging from Mahaprabhu. We cannot give individually his point. Similarly, you see the Prabhupada, he is throwing through the books the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Throwing. Chance of turn book in his time. They want to keep like a decoration in the house. This is the mercy of Prabhupada. They are so connected with Chaitanya, so connected with the feeling of Chaitanya. So much living with Chaitanya feeling and Rupa Raghunath's way of practice, they never deviate from that. They no add anything new. They, as for the circumstances and from the circumstances of the country, they are also doing the same thing, what Mahaprabhu is doing. They are Mahajans. Mahajan Gata Sapantha. Mahajan means to follow the parampara. They are Mahajan. And also Prema Prasada also. Someone who distribute Prema Prasada, they don't know the meaning, <laughs> but just distributing automatically so much pleasure is coming. We don't know why, but inside, in the heart, so much pleasure is coming. This is Prema Prasada <laughs> distributing. So this is Guru Dev's mercy, as a devotee's mercy. Gopinath. Gopinath. Gopinath's mercy. Now the prasad becomes double. Wow. Gopinath's mercy. And Gopinath's then mercy. so much devotees start coming and so tasteful, you cannot imagine. So, if you don't believe, Prem Madhu is distributing, she can explain about the prasad. Come. In the pictures, talk. what is the film? How is the come here? Picture, uh, can, they cannot Dade. loud. Yeah. Actually, loud. I, I don't know to say, I don't know what to say, but um, uh, yeah, the um, all Prajavasi who come to film the side are very happy. So many, so many, Louder. so many, uh, very tasty food, very tasty prasad. Yeah, uh, that. Each 
so can I have a question about this? It's okay. Art, art question is okay. okay. So, how to uh, understand? Because somebody can say, could say also that these kind of things, like distribute books or prasad, is only fi philanthropic, no? Is not spiritual. How can we explain in a spiritual way? Okay. If you want to answer a Maharaja or somebody. <laughs> so, if we distributed something connected with Supreme Lord or Srimati Radhika, then that is spiritual. For example, Prema Prasada is Radha Mohan tasting Adad Murita is there. And book, Hari's name, Radha's name is there, Harikata is there. That book is called spiritual book. So Harikata Murita and Tapta Jivanam. Kabi Irita Karma Sapanam. Shuramana Mangala. You know, this Bhagatam Gopi Gita say, someone who distributing this Harikata, that is most philanthropic, you know, philanthropic activity. That's also okay. Some material people can say this is only philanthropic. That's also okay. But reality is spiritual activity. Externally, some people say this is material activity. But reality is inside is spiritual things. Mahaprasada and Harikata contain book like Gita. They are spiritual. But externally, materialistic people, they cannot see, <laughs> they may not understand, but the reality is spiritual. So that means someone, have, someone who eating prema prasadam automatically getting mercy. Someone who distributing prema prasadam automatically getting mercy. Someone who distributing book, like a Prabhupada book, then some receiver also getting mercy, also distributor also getting mercy. Knowingly, unknowingly. But also some consciousness may be there, but uh, still this is spiritual activity because inside contains spiritual things. That is one answer. <laughs> I <laughs> feel. How Okay. Okay. Thanks, Maharaj. It uh, was very, very clear the answer. So, what you say, if I understand well, is uh, is not uh, absolutely important the consciousness the, of the person that is doing, but where come from the origin of that uh, things. In that case, uh, Guru Dev or Prabhupada, they, they do something, and we are only are like instruments, something like this. Yes, so we are reality is instrument of Guru Dev. So whatever we following instruction of Guru Dev, then we are purifying. We are doing some seva for Radha Moha, some some seva for Guru Dev and Radha Moha. So if we are sincere, that service could be accepted by Guru Dev and Radha Moha. That's my understanding. Okay, Radhe. Radhe, I just I want to say that uh, there is no question about philanthropic. If people uh, feel uh, can can feel directly love from 
through this prasad from Radha Mohan, uh, feels this uh, Radhika's love, feel this, there is place of love. Uh, they can they can take uh, uh, really tasty really tasty prasad and uh, they become happy i see it every day i see this smiles all all uh, uh, very loudly say radha mohan ki jai jai <laughs> jai radharani jai radharani they are really happy because uh, they feel that Radhika uh, taking care about them uh, very nicely way through this through this prasadam. Radhe. I I I just wanted to say that it is a question about feelings. That if uh, someone feel uh, love in a different uh, how to say way. And uh, this is all spiritual because spiritual about feelings, right? Yes. Beautiful. Because Buddha binds Radhika's place. So Radhika's promise, nobody be hungry in Brindava. Radhika, some or other will take care of our devotees, her devotees. So Prema Prasada is also in Brindavan, many places distributing Prasada. This is Radharani's mercy, especially here, uh, uh, Mungaraj Mandel, by the mercy of Radha Mohan, by the mercy of uh, Gurudev and uh, other Paramparas Acharyas. The mercy we can feel, love, and uh, lasa and taste. Prema Prasa is especially very tasteful. Thank you very much, Prema Madri. Okay, let me proceed. Now Guru, the, uh, the part of book where Guru the, is sharing on the verse 66 of Utkali Kavalari. The verse says, this rarely attained residence in Vraj is dependent on your mercy. Gurudev sharing. Only your mercy. Like I give you one example. Before Jesus, there was God or not? Yes. But why they say without Jesus you cannot get God? One point is, Jesus is Guru. But second point is, He is the lover. How without love will you find the God? If you have that kind of love, God will automatically come to you. He will personally talk with you. That is the meaning. 
that without Jesus you cannot find God. This is Jesus' God, Radha's Krishna. It is not my Krishna. His lover, Radha, Radha makes him Krishna. That Krishna, I mean. So you may ask, why you give example of Jesus? There is no shloka in Sanskrit. <laughs> if I speak in Sanskrit, for 10 minutes, for 5 minutes, what will you understand? The most important thing in understanding is to feel it. It's not easy to feel. Understanding is not clear. Hundred percent clear because you know the basis. Hmm. It's a good day, it's interesting. Sometimes we have tendency to do some philosophy, uh, speaking in Sanskrit, etc. But without feeling, without feeling that understanding is not clear or may not go deep. This feeling if just understanding by mind is kind of mentally or intelligent state, but in the soul, we need feeling. So therefore, especially if someone who want to practice Raganuga Bhajan, is feeling is very important. Why? Because Raga Anuga, Raga means feeling. If we don't have feeling, we cannot practice Raga Nuga Bhakti, Raga Bhaja. So, but uh, this is Gurudev is very simple. Feeling. This is feeling is very important. Because feeling, everyone can feel. Even children could feel. And any person can feel. Some of, whom, some of who is not very intelligent, not no academic record, everybody can feel it. So this is a very interesting point. Then, verse continues. Please, 
pull me by the hair and take me to your playground. Gurudev, yes, pull me. I cannot come out alone. You know, if somebody is drowning in the water, if you want to help them, they will pull you down. You will be drawn inside the water so that you have to pull me. I'm going down and down every day. Now you have to pull me out from this. If you have some mercy for me, some drop of mercy, pull me out. It will be very painful when you pull out from the hair to someone, too painful, very painful from the hair. But I'm ready. I'm ready to tolerate all the pain, but pull me out. Jai Ho! <laughs> Then Rupa in the verse continues. Who can live in Vraj on his own strength and through his own endeavors if you don't bestow such mercy? Gurudev, no one. Never. If you want to live on your own strength, Bogus, and when you want to live in the strength of her mercy, Really, that time, Vraja will meet you. So go and see. They go to the houses to collect bread. Radishyam. They get one bread. Radeshyam. And they do bhajan. And bhajan. And the begging to her. No problem. And willingly. Vrajavasi are giving you because you want to live in Vraj they respect you that is the way of living that totally I want to surrender myself in your shelter to live in begging. 
ask. They are the richest. They have Krishna, Prema. And even if I have a little false ego, that I am a renounced person, finished. Always we have to be in the mood of service. Then Rupa continues in the verse. This is the first manifestation of your mercy that one can live in Vraja. So to go to Buraja, to live in Buraja, we need the mercy of our Swami Shirimate Radharani. Without her mercy, nothing can happen. And sometimes, in Buraja, some problem may come. That's also the mercy. Because try to uh, smash our false ego. This is uh, we have seen. So anyway, we need the mercy of Sri Matera Dharani. That is that is the most important thing. So, Janandaji, now it's yes. nine thirty. Uh huh. Maybe, maybe we can finish here. <laughs> So if someone have, has some comment and sharing, so welcome and please help us and uh, enliven us. So Radha Charanji, so what is your experience in, in Buraja such a long time? And now maybe not so many devotees. So please sharing some mercy. You feel it. Radha, Radha. I get knowledge about Vraj and not only knowledge, feelings by Srila Prabhupada's book, Krishna book. This is for me a source. And from beginning I found what I love Raj. Other chapters of this book I don't like. I read it from because of respect to Shri Prabhupada. But I really love on these chapters about Raj. <laughs> I was say <I> don't like <laughs> I Shimati Radhika's mercy. And who brought me this auspicious news? Shil Prabhupada, who is Manjari, Shimati Radikus Manjari. And I think what I'm here, even I'm uh, not doing bhajan, I don't know what does it mean, but I'm here. I think it's just Shimati Radikus Mercy. Everything what's happening here is Shimati Radikus Mercy. Once Mahabhava from Croatia so show me her picture, how she sees Mangir Mandir by her heart. 
it's different streams of Shemati Radhika's mercy. <laughs> Not possible to control anything. She is controlling anything. Uh, her, how to say? Mm, it's her plan, her sweet will. Is and how she is gradually, so sweetly arranging everything. Uh, yes, sometimes it's painful because mm, how should I explain? It's possible to cut iron by iron, or one turn took out by other turn. If some pain in heart long time. It's possible to overcome by other pain. <laughs> and Shimati Radhika knows this, and she can arrange anything here for our benefit. But anyway, if she did something like this, she also has pain because we are so much unite, so much connection. She feels so much, she is so compassionate. And even it's happen, then something sweet will happen. For it's, I remember once it's happened here in uh, outer room. At the end of Kirtan, I try. Uh, our Pujariji is throwing uh, uh, water from Kuncho. For me, it's mercy. Shmati Radhika's mercy. I'm always waiting so much, so <laughs> to receive more and more. <laughs> No, sugar, they've organized in such way, but I'm singing for them, for Radha Mohan. And I'm staying just in front of Pujari, and so much is messing to my face. <laughs> and once I tried to move my body in such a way, but I will be, I will receive his mercy. In this moment, Sachinan, that he uh, finished Kirtan, he has his jumpers, big. I don't know if it's not cartels, big. And he just, and emotionally did like this. And I came in half of my teeth. <laughs> I was so, it was so bitter for me. I cried, not because of pain, no pain. And it was, I, I, I was eager to receive mercy. <laughs> but after this, so much sweet things come. <laughs> oh my God. What to do? <laughs> 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 and my teeth was repaired very soon. <laughs> so my teeth after the game, it's very sweet. <laughs> oh my god. So pure devotee and could hear it. anything <laughs> happening is mercy. <laughs> rather, rather. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Somebody could share something. So thank you very much for kind listening and Dainidi, thank you very much for nice sharing. <laughs>